if you ever need to take a grid bearing and the distance on the map between the two points is longer than your compass, then what you'd use is a thing called a map protractor. And this is one here, you can get them in many different uh, shapes and sizes. And they all sort of come with the, the roamers on them and a few measuring scales and things. But what I mainly use this for is uh, just the protractor. I've got separate roamers. Um, as I say, uh, that's, say for instance, that's where I am at the end of this track here. And that's where I want to head to. That's where I want to, that's my, my destination. You can see distance there is, it's longer than the compass, so I wouldn't use a compass to get the bearing. What I would use is one of these, which is, as I say, a protractor. Now then, it's simple to use. All you need to do is place the centre of the protractor on where you are, making sure that the edge of the protractor is parallel with the north-south lines on the map. Then all you do is just get the string, and just pull it taut slightly, and then place it over your destination, which in my case is the end of this track here. Just place it over there, and then you can read the bearing of the protractor. Now that is a grid bearing. To convert it to a compass bearing or a magnetic bearing, you would add the magnetic variation. And that's it, that's how to use a protractor.